hi guys welcome back to my channel on today's video i have a designer shoe collection to share with you guys um so we're just going to be going through the two designer brands that i have in shoes i'll be reviewing their use or my use of them so far i've had some for three four years now so i'll give you guys a quick review we'll talk also about um buying shoes from designer brands and whether or not it's really worth that designer price okay so let's get right into it i have nine pairs of shoes i believe those are all the designer shoes that i own and i own just from two brands coach of course and then to Birch. now these are the brands that i am familiar with i started buying these brands first off um, from their handbags and then I gradually moved into their ready to wear. The whole point of buying items from any item from a designer brand is the fact that it is designer and behind that designer name is quality. That's how they grow their brand in the first place, by placing their items on a quality pedestal, by, by marketing the fact that they're producing very good quality items to the point that they uh, market them as luxury items so behind the brand name behind all the marketing is supposed to be items made with the best quality anyone can find right let's start with Tory Burch because I don't have as many Tory Burch uh, shoes even though I would love to add some more because I think Tory Burch shoes are great I have not tried their shoes from the boutique yet so these two are from the Tory Burch outlet and if the quality at the outlet is this good then I'm definitely looking forward to trying the quality of the shoes from the boutique so this is the first one this is their slides um, I can't remember the name of these things to be honest I bought it last year in April from Tory Burch outlet it's honestly just a pair of white jelly slippers and many people are like why would you just buy plain jelly slippers from a designer this cost me about um, I want to say a hundred dollars and it's just plain white it's not white white it's like um, an off-white and then it has like this milky type of texture to it and it's just rubber and you have the T monogram there now if I bought this for $100, I wore this throughout summer. When we went on our summer vacation for uh, a week, I pretty much wore this every every single day. When it comes to cost per wear, I've gotten my cost per wear down on this. If I wore it every single day for a week, that is $100 divided by 7. And I definitely wore it for more than a week. So you can see the wear on there because of course they're just slippers but you know what i would rather spend a hundred dollars on slippers that will last me more than one summer sometimes you buy slippers for like the summer and be like oh you're shopping for the season and you buy something flimsy for the season and it just and that's what it is it lasts you that season so say you buy slippers for uh twenty dollars one year you buy slippers for twenty dollars the next year in five years you spend a um, hundred dollars on on rubber slippers every holiday I still have my $100 slippers. I'm going to use it again this year during spring and summer. Well, during summer, not really spring. During the summer, I'll probably use it again next year. You know, you get, do you understand what I'm saying? So that is where I'm coming from with regards to buying things from designer brands. So I definitely love this. It is so, so comfortable. And the fact that it is white, it goes with so many things. So it's not choosy. So that's another trick when I'm buying things. Uh, from designer brands. I try to buy neutrals or things that I know will go with a lot of my wardrobe So it's not picky so I can get the best of my money and wear it as much as possible Okay, so love these from the Tory Burch outlet and then my second pair of Tory Burch shoes also from the outlet are these Sneakers, but these sneakers honestly, they're great I think this is the outlet version for the good luck sneakers the good luck trainers at the boutique And now I'm even more convinced that I want to try the good luck trainers from the boutique I love these um, sneakers. They're so comfortable. Honestly, they're more comfortable than my Coach City Soul low tops, and I'll show you those in a minute. These are just, there's just so, something about it. They're soft, but like they're not soft to touch. But when I wear them and I'm walking with them, they're really, really soft. I don't know how they did it. Um, there's a little bit of wrinkling at the top of the toe here, the suede all around. This one came in different colors. It came in yellow, it came in the blue, the pink. I chose this really nice green color because I have a lot of things that this goes with in my wardrobe and I used it a whole lot. I used this probably every Saturday morning in the summer months, starting even from at least from like April, every Saturday morning, this was kind of like my shoe for the day. So absolutely love this. I got this one. So the slippers I got 
or the slides i know many people call these slides i got this in a size 10 and um for open toe shoes for like slides and slippers and sandals and things like that i like to size up i'm usually a 9 or a 9.5 depending on the brand but for anything that will show my toes i like to size size up because i don't like my toes sticking out so i got this in a size 10 and i love the way they fit these i got in a 9.5 i love the fact that they have this leather detailing here i just think it makes it look even more luxurious with that and then you have the t monogram here and then you have two at the back with that mint colored leather and then your suede i think this is just an easy simple way to do a designer uh, sneaker and it looks like it doesn't look trendy it's never going to date but it also looks classy at the same time so this is a perfect example of form meeting function and I absolutely absolutely love these now Tory Burch out there does not have a website so unfortunately I will not be able to link these in the description box below for purchase but I will leave the names and if I can find them the style number and the price at which I bought them in the description box below now let's start, let's move on to Coach. I'll start with my open toe shoes from Coach. This was probably the first purchase I made shoe-wise from Coach. And I got this from the Coach outlet two years ago and it is still going strong. This sandal is so beautiful when I wear it on my feet. I wear this sometimes to work, sometimes uh, for outings. It has this beautiful suede um, panel on the top and then you have the leather strap at the back. Lock heel, very comfortable for working and then open toe in front with the ball chain all the way around two years on and that chain is not going anywhere it has not come off it has not shifted it has not even changed in color this is what the bottom looks like of course because i use it so much and again i got this in a 9.5 because um nine was just too perfect and my toes were sticking out a bit so 9.5 for these the block heel makes it easy to walk in this for a long time. However, this part in front here, after a while of walking, is not the most comfortable. So I never worn this for a full day, mostly like for a half day or like when I go to work and I'm just sitting at my desk. So I would not recommend these for walking. Again, I picked a classy style in a neutral color. So definitely going to be wearing this for a long, long time. Next are these sandals. Again, I don't know why I can't remember the names. They're not like bags, so I can't remember all their names. Look at how dirty, <laughs> look at how dirty this is. This was my uh, alternative to dad sandals when they were really trendy two years ago. I bought this from the Coach Boutique. They were on sale, I think they were about $110. I think, I'm not sure, they may have been less. But honestly, none of these shoes I'm showing you guys today was really above um, 100, 120. I think 120 is the max I've ever spent on a designer shoe. But again, love these ones. I use this most times when I'm going shopping in the summer. I don't ask me why. It's just the one shoe that I gravitate towards. And that bed, that foot bed there is so nice and soft. Like you can feel it's really good leather. The way, um, how soft it is. But it still like supports your sole, which is great. The sole of your feet. And then you have those rivets around nice cross detail there in this beautiful chalk color this is very comfortable um at some point <laughs> maybe because i use it for shopping and i walk a whole lot like I, I spend like five to six to seven hours when i go to malls when i go shopping so yeah this begins to hurt after a while but i do still love them i got this in a size eight really an eight hmm, yeah an eight so i guess this one ran big and yeah size eight us and they fit perfect i got this two summers ago i believe was it yeah 2021 next let me show you this pair of shoes from coach now we know that shoes like these like this platform type shoes were really really trending uh 2021 and even last year 2022 they're still trending even though the platforms are now thicker and bigger they've taken a different turn but honestly these type of shoes will never ever date they go in and out of trend so some some years you'll find them some years you won't but there's never a time i think that this style of shoe you would wear it and look like you're wearing something from decades ago because it's just a classic like oxford style shoe and that's what i love about this again i got this in the black i got this from um coach outlet 
It was on sale. It was on clearance, I believe, on the Outlet website, and I bought it. It was one of the last sizes left, which is why I bought it in oh, a nine point five actually. This is a nine point five. I believe I wanted a nine, but the nine was sold out at the time that it reached clearance. So I got it in a nine point five, and then I got insoles from Shoppers Drug Mart, just regular generic insoles, and then um, it fits perfectly. It was a, it was big when I wore them without the insoles. But after putting that in, it is my perfect size. So I believe nine would have been perfect, but it was sold out. So I got a 9.5 and then that's just the trick I used to make it fit. I love these shoes. I get compliments every single time I wear them. I also love that it has this coach logo here, which is great. Nice, thick, chunky heels and the entire platform. You also have the horse and carriage here. Great for working. I wear these as my work shoes mostly. I haven't worn them casually. I might style them casually soon um, and wear them with some socks, like proper schoolgirl look. And then we'll see how that looks. Maybe I'll take some pictures and post them on my Instagram. If you're not following me on my Instagram, you should. That is why I post outfits and reels on how to style my bags. And then I'll throw in my shoes um, from Coach and Terry Birch once in a while. It even says Coach here. See? Coach. So love these. I got these. Um, two years ago i want to say so 2021 but like at the very end of 2021 or maybe at the very beginning of 2022 i think so and but i didn't get a chance to wear them until uh, spring summer last year so it's spring summer 2022 and i loved wearing them i didn't wear them a whole bunch because you can only pull off this platform shoe look with a certain type of outfit so i wore it like maybe five six times in the summer um but yeah no regrets and i look forward to wearing it for years and years to come next let's do the sneakers from coach my favorite line of sneakers from coach is the city soul these is city soul these are the low top sneakers i got this on sale from coach boutique on the website i've been looking at it for a while and then i waited of course for it to go on sale and when it eventually did i it went out of stock i believe but i signed up for the alerts and i was alerted when this size came back in stock and i got this one in a size 8.5 not sure why i got an 8.5 i think that was the only one that was left and i decided to give it a try and it was perfect so I guess size down in these. These are still available in different variations on the website. The City Soul is one of their classic shoes and I don't think they will ever discontinue it. So I just got this in a plain white because I wanted plain white sneakers and again it's always best to buy neutrals if you're going to be spending that amount of money. Honestly you will buy Steve Madden shoes for this price and we know Steve Madden is not designer. Steve Madden is just high-end a high-end fast fashion brand so if i would spend like 150 dollars full price with steve madden shoe i definitely have no problems buying a coach shoe designer brand shoe when it's on sale for the same price or less i think i got this for 120 or 110 dollars uh when it was on sale and this is definitely better quality than a steve madden shoes and i'm just using steve madden as an example insert whatever other high-end fast fashion brand there is and i do have steve madden sneakers as well so i know how much they cost i have them and i love them but i love these more for the quality and for the name of the brand as well so apart from the fact that it's dirty like the stitches are all still in place and i can't say the same about my other um, fast fashion sneakers you have that brown label there with the horse and carriage which I love and that's about it like the only thing wrong with this shoe so far after two seasons of wear is the fact that it's dirty and that's because it's white other than that very very comfortable on the back here it says genuine glove tan leather and you know how good coach glove tan leather is so love these city so low line low top shoes and my second pair of sneakers from coach boutique is also from the City Soul line, and this is the City Soul fold over high tops with the Sherpa lining. Now, these are a recent purchase, but honestly, I've worn them more than some of the other sneakers I have. I've worn them maybe twice a week ever since I got them, and I got them two, three weeks ago. They were a Christmas present. I absolutely love them. So, these are in signature jacquard in the color coco with black leather lining and then you have the sherpa lining on the inside sorry black leather trim and then you have the leather the sherpa lining on the inside and these are high tops so if you are a sneaker person you're familiar with high tops this is what a regular high top would look like and they do have the regular city soul high tops um, that are just like these but you can't fold those ones over this 
you can fold over and this is what it looks like at the back you have the leather trim there and i just absolutely love this because of the combination in the brown and the black and also because of that fold over feature i just think it looks so nice and stylish and then the shepherd goes all the way inside to the front so my feet are so warm and cozy honestly these are the perfect shoes for fall winter on a dry winter day not a wet winter day a dry winter day these are great so i don't like to wear my regular sneakers during the winter i wear boots all through in the winter but with these i can now wear sneakers i don't have to wear just boots because these really keep my feet warm right so absolutely love these i got them in a size 9 i tried both the 9 and the 9.5 in store they were both my size but the 9.5 just looked a little bit too bulky on my feet and for those i guess i would I may have needed to wear socks but because it's so warm on the inside I didn't want to be hot so I just got the nine and I don't regret it it is a it is a very good size ordinarily you can see most of my sneakers I have in a size 9.5 so I would say maybe this runs a bit big which is why the nine is a perfect perfect fit usually nine in sneakers will pinch me a bit in front but this doesn't at all this is perfect so if you're in between sizes maybe get your regular size or size down a half size otherwise your regular size really should be fine so absolutely love these okay so we're down to our final pair of shoes and these are my winter boots they're both from coach outlet they're both the same type of boot this is the isa boots from coach outlet this is honestly all i wear during the winter well quote unquote all i wear on a wet snowy icy cold winter day these boots this one i wear all the time because of the color and the fit this one i don't wear again because of the color and the fit now i bought this first i think i bought these on sale and i got this in a size nine perfect perfect fit love them i do not wear them with socks if i wear them with socks they're going to be tight so i do not wear this with socks but i love the um gold colored zipper detail there with a the horse and carriage zipper pole and then on the inside you have this really nice furry material and it goes all the way down like on the sole of the shoe it's not as furry but it's still soft love the c monogram detail on the shoe there here it's just suede you have the leather and then you have the nice thick sole at the bottom so i wear this every day literally like i'm not exaggerating every day in the winter as long as it's snowing as long as it's wet mushy icy cold this is what i wear now this is the exact same shoe but in a size 9.5 so all the same details except this is jacquard in the sea monogram and it goes all the way to the front of the shoe i bought this after i bought the black one i loved this so much so this was 100 percent worth the money and i bought it on sale during the holiday sales so much so so much worth the money that i bought these full price i think they were about 130 140 so that's how much i love this that's how much i'm saying this is worth the money that yes i would wait to buy it on sale which i did but i will also pay full price for this so i went ahead and i bought this one full price in a 9.5 i think i bought this in store and that day they didn't have a nine so i tried it 9.5 was good it was nice it was cozy but when i got home and when i wore this a couple of times i found that it looked too bulky on my feet compared to the nine and was a bit heavier and so i just stopped wearing it all together also because it was harder to pair it with my coats whereas these were easier to pair because they're black so i'm not going to go so much into my likes and dislikes for both the only thing you need to know for this video is that i love this so much it is definitely worth the money i i bought it um in 2021 in december and I've used it so much then. And if you're familiar with Canadian winters, we have winter for about five months in a year from like October to April. And so that's how much use this has had for the past two winters. No wear and tear so far, just that it's suede. So yeah, suede is gonna have all of that, not peeling, but kind of rough look after a while. Other than that, there's really nothing else wrong with the shoe apart from the fact that it's dirty but that's it two winters going and it is still strong so for me when i'm looking to buy uh, something from a designer brand it starts first of all with the quality of the item and then with the style aesthetics you know 
what type of item it is is it nice enough does it fit with my wardrobe does it go with my personal stuff and then after that comes brand name i guess it's just personal um choice and personal preference but i honestly believe that for the quality some of these brands actually have like really really high-end quality buying their ready-to-wear is worth it and i say this because i know that for handbags it's different because you're buying like a leather piece which you know will last a very long time some of these items the, their resale value is really good like when you talk like these are things that you can have for decades and then when you want to sell them you can get out even or even sell them for a profit which is actually really good when you consider that right but for their ready to wear it's different because once you take a ready to wear item and by ready to wear i mean clothes shoes um jewelry well not jewelry clothes shoes and hats once you take all those things off the shelf and out the store and you wear them their resale value drops immediately immediately so you're not going to be able to resell them at the price you bought them or even for a higher price because they're going to start to lose resale value immediately so i understand that for these items from designer brands because they're pricier it's kind of discouraging to buy into them because like why do you want to spend so much money for such an item that you may not want to wear five years from now especially if they're trendy pieces right now what i do is to buy these things that i like from the ready to wear selection when they're on sale because that way you get it at a fair discount but you're still getting that great quality and you're still getting that brand name as well so that's my trick i don't think i've ever bought any ready to wear item full price except for my basquiat sweater dress from coach which was almost sold out and then i had to buy it full price because it wasn't it was not going to make it to sale and i don't regret that at all because again like honestly once you try one of their ready to wear pieces you will understand what i'm saying the quality is superb another trick is to mix and match so you buy some really nice designer pieces and pair them with uh, fast fashion pieces as well and when you pair all these items together you really have a nice look and you know it doesn't look cheap it doesn't look flimsy at all so anyways i'm doing too much talking the bottom line of what i'm trying to say is it is definitely worth it when you buy items from the ready to wear selection of your favorite designer brands if you want to find out why this one made my worst list of purchases and this one made my best you want to click on this video right here and go see the items that made that list and why thank you guys so much for watching my video and i'll see you in this one bye